figure that out. And um, I mean, we have to figure a lot of things out. We've never done this before, but it, this is super exciting to work on this this summer. Our new project. So now we are upstairs in our cozy little rooftop studio. Here we have a little kitchen. I don't know. I don't think we're gonna keep like a whole kitchen up here. It doesn't make sense. Maybe just a small little thing if we have guests. Well, I like it. They have everything here. Stove. Yeah, I know, but do we need a stove up here? We see. We see. <laughs> this is, anyways, we're gonna do this. This is the last thing. So while we are renovating downstairs, we will probably maybe even move up here. Uh, but in the end, this is supposed to be like a cozy place, storage. We're gonna have a like bed sofa so people can sleep here. Yes, because we have an extra opening here where we can. Uh, yeah, this is so. This is the, the original attic attic door, if you will. Um, so access to the main uh, staircase. Yeah. So we could close close the stairs so we could have people staying here without entering our our area kind of but now to the really cool parts of this roof we have a little fireplace an oven yeah, it's amazing so this is uh, gonna be the winter hangout and um, yeah do you want to do the honor sticks and show them the rest yeah and then well now we have a lot of things we kept all the stuff that we took away. This all goes, of course, but we have this beautiful wooden... Um, what are they called? What are these called? Uh, uh, beams. Beams. Uh, wooden beams. Yeah, and this is, uh, even though it's a roof, it's pretty high, again, which is absolutely stunning. To be roof windows, we have this, this uh, stage here, which we might... Come here for the sound a bit more, maybe? <laughs> Which we might extend a bit, so you have a more kind of a second layer, and you can actually live or do whatever on a, on a window level because down here you don't really have the window. Um, yeah. But I think these are beautiful. So behind this, we're gonna have curtains and big wardrobes where we can just storage everything, hide it, and like curtains coming from behind, so we can close it and we don't see all this. Um, and look at this, this is the best thing. This is one of the reasons why we felt like this apartment is for us. There's a little key for tenants. And we could have, maybe. I think the house is mine because it's pink and this is also his because there's a key. These are big important signs for us. Anyways, this will be very cozy, I think. And we have a second bathroom. This is it. With wooden um, elements again, beautiful. So this is gonna be. Um, I love this window. It's like an original, small, like a stable window, roof uh, window. And so this is gonna be the second project, sometime where we renovate up here. This is like the big bathroom. I mean, bigger than the other one. And uh, well, here we're gonna make a bathtub. We're gonna have a bathtub up here because it's big and nice and then we're gonna have a shower downstairs like we're gonna take away the bathtub from downstairs and put one here and get it around because this is a very very cozy bathroom i love the wooden beams and yeah well all this is also going a lot of our friends they like this i think it's it's not bad but since we want to have this our Make this our dream apartment. This will go. This will go. Everything will go. We will just change everything. I'm very happy. I love this place. So yeah. Well, I think now you've seen almost everything, right? That was the little introduction to um, our place. How it looks like now. In the right now condition, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, well, tomorrow and today we will start building. Tomorrow we will show you again when we tear down the walls how it's gonna be i have no idea right now we're waiting for a container to come we're gonna put it downstairs the container is there <laughs> this guy is gonna supply us with a container for all the trash and we found the parking we even found the parking I was scared it was going to be too small, but I think that's that's three cubic meters, I think it's enough. 
Hi, Container. Hi, nice. Okay. Let's continue then. We yeah. have a lot of more stuff to do today. Oh, this is uh, already very important. We have to pick up you at the airport and buy the stuff. No, next step, uh, hardware store. Shop. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so now we are getting some tools that we're gonna need the next month, like hammers and gloves and uh, what do we need, Clemens? Yeah, Johan, our construction leader, uh, made the shopping list and we're gonna get a lot of shit now. Mats to not destroy the floor when we tear down the walls. Yeah, all these little things that you have to think about. I mean, I have got, a, I've got some tools already, but now of course we are stepping up the game here in terms of professionality and stuff so <laughs> yeah let's problems. have a look <laughs> so first thing let's go back to the big buckets now since we have bricks probably um just found out that the walls are not only made of drywall some of them are actually brick so, so we need uh, different more buckets. soft and smaller buckets to carry it down because we only have these huge ones and it's just gonna okay. we have so I'm, also, I'm also thinking the one that we have we can carry at least two of us are you filming? Yeah. These are really flexible. Okay, let's show you a This is gonna break. This is what we need. To break all the wooden things, the stairs, um, crack. I can't you know. get focus. And obviously to get into the neighbor's apartment. <laughs> I like these ones. I remember when I was in school, I used to make shelves and stuff with this. It's not as crazy as the metal ones. We yeah. don't need this? Okay. So, this is what we got. A little stick for the broom. Cocos broom. A nice hammer. Plastic, but more durable. A big hammer. Combination with the... Take away the tiles. This bad boy. Yeah. Which you already know. Yeah. And then a coke. 